what you can't argue is that you have to be an athlete to be able to do it. I first started cheerleading in third grade at my studio back at home. I first started cheerleading when I was in first grade through a rec cheerleading program at Upwards. And then I decided that I wanted to try something more challenging. A couple of things I like about cheerleading a lot is just the team part of it, because everyone has to work together to make it work. It's not just an individual, so how close you have to be with your teammates and all the hard work that goes into it, it's just really cool. I'm from Jacksonville, Illinois, so it's like four and a half to five hours away, so I'm kind of a far ways from home, but being on the cheer team has definitely helped the transition, and they're already like a family to me. I also have two girls that are from my hometown that came to school with me, and they also made the cheer team, so it's kind of nice because we kind of get to stick together, and um, we have a piece of home with us. My favorite part about cheerleading is probably that I get to do what I love while also cheering on all my other student athletes at the school that also do what they love. And it helps me stay involved in the school and feel like I'm a part of something while having kind of like the best seat at the games to cheer on my team. The hardest part is when a teammate gets down and then you try to build them back up and to keep pushing even when things get really hard and you're really tired of practice and you know coach says oh you know do it again and you just kind of keep going and then motivating people and keeping everybody up and going. All of our flyers would be called tops in college but I am also a top in our pyramids so we have our shoulders which are our guys and then we have our mid layers which are our girls that hold the tops at the very top and that would be me that's at the top. <laughs> I was given it from Jason at tryouts. He told us if you were a top for a mid and then I've been that the whole time I've been here. When I first met my coach Jason I was really intimidated by him but I learned to end up not being intimidated and respecting him more because he knows how to be your friend and encourage you when it's needed, but also when to push us and make us really good at what we do and get to where we need to be. He is a very good coach. He keeps us on track and he makes us work hard. He pushes us um, out of our comfort zones to make us better. And I know he always has the best interest like in mind for the team. It's definitely been different to step onto the other side of cheer in terms of what you see. So I've always been the athlete um, practicing and training and uh, competing. And this year I get to actually step onto the other side alongside Jason and kind of help him out throughout the year. It's different. There's, there's definitely a lot that I never knew Jason did. Um, and being on this side, you, you see what Jason really has to kind of um, schedule out, he has to make sure things are in the right order. Um, game day, there's a schedule that we have to follow certain times. Um, there's all kinds of meetings that he has to attend. Um, and all the while, keeping an eye on the team. In high school, I was uh, mainly a football athlete. I was doing track as well. And uh, I had a friend in a math class who had just gotten back from a national um, competition. And she convinced me to go to one of the practices and just kind of try it out. She figured that I might be good at it. So I went and tried it, and I was bad at it. And it was the first time that I had tried um, an athletic something where I wasn't immediately decent at and it kind of inspired me to pursue it and to get better at it as well. I'd say what kept me in cheer was uh, you never really peak. There, no matter how good you get or how good you think you are, there's always another place that you can take yourself. Um, it's a constant learning curve. So you, you can get to a certain point and then after that it's another steep climb to hit the next milestone. I think mentally it's probably pretty challenging. You fail a lot more than you ever succeed. 
if you want to give it a try, then give it a try. Uh, all you got to do is ask someone who's uh, involved in it or ask someone who knows people who are involved in it, and they'll try to get you in contact. Um, best thing you can ever do is just give it a shot. I did my junior year in high school, and I fell in love with it. This is Bearcat Cheer, and you are watching KNWT Amazing Things, Monday through Thursday at 6.38 p.m.